Hey guys, Derek Camacho here from Tona. Uh, starting a windsurfing board. Um, funny enough, the the design starts and the construction starts from the actual fin boxes where most of the pressure is actually applied from the foil. So we have these uh, very rugged uh, Chinook fin boxes that we use. And typically what I start off doing is I use in a mold process. I will uh, set them into a carbon fiber uh, template. Uh, that basically strong box that starts off and I'll add some uh, two part foam and make my solid foundation for my two fin boxes where the foil is. And from there I start the process of building around uh, the board. design of the board. This is where I turned to the computer for some help. Um, as a shaper, 80% of our time used to be spent just shaving off foam from a big block of foam just to get to the board that we would foresee as an as a end product. Uh, that, that was a complete waste of time and a waste of material. Thanks to the computer and the CNC machine now, I can basically get rid of that excess foam and get me closer to the final shape. Not the final shape, but close enough that I can then refine with my hands because uh, um, I really believe that I, uh, you should keep the process uh, of the final finishing with the hand. Um, so I'll spend some time on this uh, program, designing the measurements, the volume distribution, the rocker line. It allows me to basically, you know, just have a good 3D look at the board before it actually gets cut into foam. It's a good, uh, it saves a lot of material, it saves a lot of time. Right, here it is, I got the blank back from the CNC machine. Um, so pretty much from the computer screen to this shape, and it's a rough shape, you can see where the CNC machine makes all the cuts and the grooves uh, just to get it to the approximate size that I want. And um, from this point now, I'm just gonna use my hands to uh, do the final shaping by hand and all the fine tuning and tweaking uh, as the next phase. I have my fin box cassette here ready to go in. I call this uh, a loaf of bread. Uh, so once I get it refined, I'll then place the fin boxes in position and seal the board up and get it ready for glass. have it final shaped. Um, to most of you out there it probably looks like a big block of foam but actually there's quite a lot going on in this design. It's actually uh, so it's a windsurf foil board so it's got to be uh, a lot of volume to support the weight of the rider and the sail um, but it's only five feet ten long but I managed to keep about 130 liters of volume in this blank. Uh, there's quite a lot design wise going on too. I have a uh, concave bottom with some chine rails to help clear the water for the foiling. Uh, new on this board too, I have a concave deck.
Okay, as you saw, I final sanded the board, uh, make sure there was no imperfections with the shape, make sure I was happy with the shape before I continued. I inserted the fin boxes on the bottom, I inserted the uh, fin box at the top for the mast foot of the windsurfer, and um, then I got it ready for glassing. This is the first stage of uh, the glassing process where I wet out the glass, make sure it's well saturated. I use a very slow curing resin just so I have a lot of time because uh, from here uh, it goes into the next room. But it's pretty high tech stuff in the next room. It gets vacuum bagged, uh, make sure all the uh, composites are made uh, correctly with the ratio of the resin to the cloth. The board is out of the glass in phase now. Structurally sound, clean board, clean face, sort of. I got tired of the bed. Uh, anyway, so now it's uh, do one quick sand and coat, just get rid of the high points and then I'll start to sink the inserts uh, for the foot straps and I'll put in the handle. Um, then I'll patch it over again and then start sanding and prepping for the uh, finishing coats. So Done. Uh, you saw me last take the board out of the glass in the room and then I put some uh, micro balloons and over the whole board and that's when I spent a lot of time just sanding it, getting it uh, finished the way I need. At this point is where you make a decision what kind of finish you want on the board. You can go crazy all the way to an automotive finish with a highly buffed and polished color or you can just leave it how I've done it here. Now I basically um, sand it down, give it a high build uh, marine primer and actually sand it right back to the carbon fiber. That way I know all the holes are smooth, it's filled, and it's also the thinnest it can possibly be. So it's actually the lightest finish you can get. It looks kind of uh, unfinished, I know, but it kind of makes for a cool look.